Hello, my name is Eugene, and today I'm making a video for those of you who need the measurements of that frame so you can make one for yourself. Quite a few people on YouTube asked me if I built this frame myself. No, I did not make it myself. These bikes are sold at the store. But for those of you who like to make one out of spare parts and you know what you're doing, then it should not be a very should not be very hard. I'm going to start with the front of the bike and more work my way towards the back of the bike. Since most of the world is using metric system, therefore most of my measurements will be done in centimeters. I know that looking at the frame in this video is not the same as actual plans, but maybe it will help some of you to get a general idea on how to make it. So grab a pencil and paper and let's get to it. First I'm going to take the seat off and then take the gas tank off and I will take the measurements. The front of the bike is very simple, straightforward. You have the struts or the shock absorbers and then you have the regular steering wheel you can get this from any bicycle the length of the shock absorber is 68 centimeters and this part is approximately 32 centimeters the connecting part is about 23 centimeters and this part here is approximately 31.5 centimeters. When it comes to steering column, you have the lower stack, the upper stack, and this body frame is approximately 17, 17 centimeters. On the fork you can see these little stoppers. They prevent, they basically stop the steering wheel from churning too much. And I guess they're just welded on there, right there. Okay, let's move on to the frame. I'm going to measure this part right here. The main frame is approximately 65 centimeters. This part of the frame is approximately 86 centimeters. And there's obviously two of them, so both sides are going to be 86 centimeters. This angle is approximately 120 degrees. And this is how the welds look on the inside of the frame where the steering column is. engine base is welded in several spots to the frame and the measurement is approximately 34 centimeters in length and 14 centimeters in width and this is where the motor mounts right here so I also want to show how it looks upside down and where all the welds are so this is the base of the engine or the bottom of the bike and this is the rear of the bike this is where all this is where the seat goes mounts right up here this part is approximately 24 24 centimeters and this part is 25 centimeters 
this part of the frame is 55 centimeters and the bend right here is approximately a hundred and twenty degrees and this bend here is approximately a hundred and ten degrees the bracket that holds the seat is approximately 8 centimeters and the other side is 9.5 centimeters and it's welded right up here at the bend this part of the frame that connects the upper and lower frame is approximately 34 centimeters this part of the frame is approximately seven and a half centimeters by maybe like ten and a half centimeters and this is where you make all your tire adjustments this opening here is about one and a half centimeters that's where you have your chain tensioner this is your chain tensioner and you just make your adjustments as needed. This last part of the frame is 104 centimeters and the bike stand is welded right across from the brakes. The brakes are welded right up here and the bike stand is right up here. And this is my last measurement. This would be approximately 26 centimeters. Alright, so let's put this thing together. Once you put your bike together, enjoy the ride.